Hello, YouTubers. Dean of DVD. It's about time that I do a update on my Criterion collection. First of all, sadly, I had to say goodbye to a prized possession within my Criterion collection, and that it was hard to let it go because it, it took me a long time to get it. <clears throat> it was a very difficult one to get, and uh, I had finally gotten it, I don't know, a year or so ago, I guess, something like that. Uh, maybe nine months ago. I'm, I'm not exactly sure when I got it. <clears throat> and uh, it was a favorite. It really was. It was a uh, one of the few Chinese movies I have or had. Though I do have its, uh, I do have its sister. I have its sister uh, collection, which is Spy Number Number Nine. I think the other one was ten, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so the one I had to let go was John Woo's The Killer. Uh, sorry, no. Chow Young Fat, who's just an awesome actor, and you've seen him in a lot of other things over the years as he as he's aged and so on. He started as Confucius, if I'm not mistaken, in a recent movie. Anyway, um, I still have in my collection Hard Boiled, which is the one that I haven't sold. But uh, you know, somebody wanted uh, the killer. He said he you know really hard to find it for under eighty bucks. On eBay, so I sold it to him, thinking, well, you know, it's going to a good place. He really wanted it. I've seen the movie like five times, so I thought, you know what, it's time to give it a new home. So I did, but I've still got John Woo's Hard Boiled, which I've never seen. Every time I was in the mood to watch Chow Young Fat, I always watched The Killer, so um, which I just thought was excellent. So I'm gonna have to watch this one and see see if it, how it compares. I, I've heard uh, it's not as good. Some people say it's better, but I, most people say it's not as good. So my guess is that's what we're going to find. But I'm gonna, there's going to be a lot of gunfire and so on. So in this one, I think he plays a good guy. And the other one, he played sort of a bad guy who had a good mission. This guy is a, a true good guy, I think. <clears throat> so anyway, I still have Hard Boiled. That's not new. So with the money that I got for selling the other one, I did get some some stuff. And then I also got some other stuff on top of it. Just I guess I was... Um, in the mood, and then I have a box coming from the Criterion Collection, folks. Uh, they recently did a 24-hour uh, Blitz-type sale, 50% off of, of all their products that are in stock that they have, which is just about everything. So uh, they're getting room, making room, I guess, for the new titles that are coming out. But here's some stuff I picked up. I'm going to show you the DVDs first. These are not all as a result of the uh, selling of the killer, but quite a few of them are. First up is Samuel Fuller's White Dog. I'm intrigued by the storyline. The storyline is that a woman finds a, maybe in a shelter, I think, gets a white dog. It, is, it doesn't have to be a white dog, but more than that, it's a white dog because it is has been trained, apparently, to kill to attack and kill black people. So it, uh, yeah, interesting, interesting premise. Uh, yeah, it's been trained to attack black people. Paul Winfield uh, plays in this movie as a trainer who tries to, you can see that here, who tries to cure the dog. Uh, yeah. It's a snarling and uncompromising vision of human corruption. White Dog has lost none of its power to shock the senses and the conscience. And a bunch of extras, as you are never surprised with, with uh, here's some of the stars and so on. Burl Ives, Frosty the Snowman. Um, you may or may not know what that means, but those of you who do, that's good. Here's, uh, here's the disc itself. You know, are you like me? I have to have this thing turned around. It bothers me when it's not facing the right way. Anyway, uh, yeah, there we go. And I'll tear this thing out of here. I hate these things. Yeah, I don't care for these. Yeah, it's a little residue. I'll worry about that later, I guess. It's probably I started to do that and left it alone. And the book, it's a book with it, as are most criterions. There's the credits, or the uh, chapters, I mean. Pretty good uh, book here. Talking about the movie. About racism. Yeah, I look forward to this one. 
Yeah, should be a good movie. Most Samuel Fuller stuff stuff is. So White Dog I picked up. And I picked up that's not a criterion. Get that out of there. I picked up Notorious for nine or for fifteen something at a uh, uh, Suncoast video, which is like FYE. They're both owned by the same place. Alfred Hitchcock's movie. Watched it the other night. Great movie. Um, starring Cary Grant and Ingrid Bergman. Yeah, great stuff. Along with Cla uh, and Claude Rains too. Lots of extras. Lots of special features. Um, Very collectible. I got it for a really good price. I'm willing to sell this one or possibly even trade it. Uh, mainly because I got a really good price on it, so I'm willing to try to make it, make something off of it and use that money to buy other stuff. So This could be a fairly expensive uh, endeavor. But I've watched all the extras, and I watched the movie twice. And I've seen Notorious before, so it's not like I've never seen the movie. But great movie. Uh, and I'll be happy to let it sit in my collection as the killer did for who knows how long. As long as it takes. I'm in no rush to do anything with it. Of course, it's got a beautiful... It's out of print, by the way. It's got a beautiful... Uh, I guess it goes like that. Yeah. Beautiful looking disc. Great artwork on it. And you got your booklet. Not as thick as what was in the uh, white dog, but uh, not too bad. Oh, it's got the uh, catalog with it, too. Yeah, it's only got a handful of pages with this. But uh, really good, really good movie. I highly recommend Alfred Hitchcock. Any, I highly recommend anything by Alfred Hitchcock, but certainly I highly recommend it. Notorious. It's been said that this uh, is the epitome of Hitchcock movies. In other words, everything that, that is Hitchcockian, if that's a word about a movie, is in Notorious. And maybe one of the first ones where that, when that was true. Spine number 137, by the way, on DVD. Also picked up Do the Right Thing for like $8 out of print. I uh, love having the Criterion Edition. I have the Blu-ray Edition, but eh, something about a Criterion Edition. Spine 97 that just makes it uh, special. Great, great movie. I'd also, uh, I'd also trade or sell this one eventually. I did watch it. I haven't watched all the extras on it, though. I did watch it. Picture quality is great on it. So... I'm not sure how much the Blu-ray improved on it. I'm sure it has, but I have to see them side by side to really judge that better than I can right now. No, oh, there you go. There's sales pizza up in flames. Great, great movie. Very iconic piece of work and Spike Lee's best, if you ask me. Do the right thing. Also, speeding things along here, the last uh, DVD I picked up Oh, wait a minute. I'm missing something. <clears throat> missing something. That's not good when that happens. Hey, are there, is there a couple of discs on top of the of the thing over there, the fireplace? Can you see a couple of discs up on top of there? Right on the top ledge. Can you bring me those? One's a disc and one's a CD. I really don't want the disc, but I'll take both. Thank you, sir. You were a lifesaver there. Okay. Aaron comes to the rescue. Yay, Aaron. And the one, the other DVD I got before I get to the last DVD is The Lost Honor of Katharina Bloom. This is a spy movie. Uh, you know, terrorists, terrorists, that type of stuff. It, uh, here's, you can read some of this on the back. When the police arrest Katharina on suspicion of harboring a terrorist, her guilt-ordered life, or I'm sorry, her quiet, not guilt, her quiet-ordered life falls into ruins. Yeah, she's subject to a smear campaign, and things go from there. So lots of nice extras. Give you a peek inside. You got the booklet. You got the nice looking disc, and that's the Lost Honor of Katharina Bloom, German movie. Last, the controversial, always controversial, probably uh, Pierre Paolo Pasolini's Salo, Salo. Or the 120 Days of Sodom, uh, a retelling of the uh, uh, Marquis de Sade brought into a more modern day Italy. So, of course, it's got humility, degradation, uh, sexuality, etc., 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 nudity, all the above. Uh, but this one, like new, 
the big thick booklet with it in there. Huge booklet, actually. Uh, have never seen this movie, still haven't seen it. This is a two DVD version. And there's artwork, which I'm not going to show because I can't remember if it's suitable for YouTube. Cover, I suppose, is. But uh, anyway, there's the back. Yeah. Take two discs. Lots of extras. Here's your, here's your plot. Do you want to stop it and check that out? 1976 movie, Spy Number 17. So it's good to add that to my collection for relatively cheap. Another one I might sell sometime. I want to be able to watch it a couple times first, though. These I picked up, um, they're out of print. I haven't opened them yet. Uh, uh, Leon Morin Priest, or Leon Morin Priest. I can't show the insides because they're still uh, sealed. Blu-ray, obviously. Lots of extras. If you can make that out, maybe not. Uh, basically, it's a priest and the whole town falls in love with him. All the women, anyway. Next up, another out of print. Howard Zen. These are recently out of print. James Ivory, of course, the director. Um, I really want to see this, so I'm probably going to open this up. I just haven't done it yet, and I'm in no rush to do so yet. Um, there's that. Uh, here's the back. Get a sense of the plot. And here's some of the extras down here. Yeah. Long movie, 142 minutes, made in 1992. Spy number 488, I believe, yeah. Going blind here. But anyway, there's those. And last but not least... Just got this one through eBay, uh, Blu-ray, Che, story of uh, Che Guevara, uh, instrumental leader in the uh, Cuban Revolution, Revolution de Cuba, de Cuba, um, 2008 movie, spy number 496, fairly thick on your shelf, looks kind of neat. Inside, not the thick book that I expected, but two different DVD cases. Excuse me. Um, that is, uh, this is number two, I think. Yeah, this is part two right here. And here's part one. Uh, this has got a fairly good sized booklet in it. The other one's got a poster that matches this, which I think is really cool. Um, it's a long movie. Part 1 is 135 minutes. Part 2 is 136 minutes. This is a Steven Soderbergh film. Uh, it's just a remarkable piece of filmmaking. I've seen some of it uh, some time back. I haven't never watched the whole thing. But I'm really looking forward to watching it on Blu-ray. Picked it up for pretty cheap. I just got lucky on this one. I think it was one of these things that the bit ended like at 1 in the morning or something and California people were asleep at the wheel, and I, I snagged it um, for uh, uh, under 20 by a few dollars anyway. So it wasn't like I stole it, but I guess you can buy it new for... Well, actually, this is forty nine ninety nine I think, so I think I guess I did do a pretty good deal. Normally, you get it for about 25 I think I got it for about $17 uh, shipped. Shipping was free, so not, not a bad deal at all. And it was in, it was in really good condition. So that, that's it for now, guys. That's the haul, but I'm real happy with it. Um, not all these came from my Selling the Killer, but quite a few of them did. And uh, I'm happy to add those to my collection, though I am sad indeed to watch the killer go out the door. But uh, it's in a good home. Maybe the person who got it will do a video on it, or if not, that's fine too. Um, I'm just, I just know it went to a good home because he was really excited when he got it. So uh, anyway, guys, that's it for now. My next update, for Criterions anyway will be when my Criterion package arrives, which should be soon. Uh, and I'll show you what I got in the 50% off uh, flash sale that they did. All right, that's it for now, guys. Take care.